here let us see a very interesting question from the topic sum of n terms of arithmetic progression here question is the interior angles of a polygon are in ap the smallest angle is 120 degree and the common difference is 5 degree find the number of the sides of the polygon okay so here angles are angles are starting from 120 degree 5 degree is common difference so 125 degree this is a this is a plus d again a plus 2d 130 degree and so on correct we have to find the number of the sides of the polygon so let us suppose n be the number of sides let n be the number of sides number of sides of the polygon which we have to find out then what will be the sum of these angles here a is equal to 120 degree d is equal to 5 degree so sum of n angles since polygon has n sides so definitely number of angles will be n you know it very well very basic thing so sum of all these angles will be sn is equal to n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d correct and this is equal to n by 2 2 into 120 degree plus n minus 1 into d is 5 so sn is equal to n by 2 uh, we should not write degree this is not necessary to write degree here so simply 2 into 120 so 2 into 120 is 240 plus 5n minus 5 this is equal to n by 2 235 plus 5 n sorry plus 5 n or you can take 5 common from these two terms so therefore s n is equal to n by 2 5 will be common from here so 5 n if 5 is common there will be n and if we take 5 common from here then 47 now we can write 5 here since 5 has been taken common suppose the relation 1 and by geometry we know that sum of angles of n sides of a polygon is n minus 2 into 180 degree so by geometry also sum of angles sum of angles in a polygon in a polygon of n sides we have studied it in lower classes in geometry that sum of angles of n sides of a polygon sum of angles will be how much this will be n minus 2 into 180 sum of angles okay suppose this is relation 2 clear so by equating these two relations this is also sum of angles of the polygon this is also sum of angles of the polygon so these two will be equal and by solving it we can get the value of n so by 1 and 2 by 1 and 2 we can write 5 n by 2 into n plus 47 this is equal to n minus 2 into 180 okay let here 5 will be cancel out from both the sides this will be 36 and by cross multiplication 
here 2 will be multiplied with this side. So, finally, we will get here n into n that is n square n into 47 that is 47 n okay. and 2 into 36 is 72, 72 into n 72 n it will be transposed to left hand side. So, minus 72 n and this is already 72 and 72 into minus 2 transpose to left side. So, become plus 144 72 into 2 is 144 this is equal to 0 or we are getting here n square minus simplifying these two terms this is 47 n this is minus 72 n. So, this is 72 minus 47 is 25 n and plus 144 is equal to 0. Now, we can factorize this quadratic equation, we can solve it, we will get the value of n or we can split up the middle term, you know how to factorize a quadratic equation. So, we can split up the middle term. So, this will be n square minus 9 n minus 16 n plus 144 is equal to 0, correct. Now, from first two terms, we can take n common on from last two terms we can take minus 16 common. So, we are getting here n common from these two terms. So, n minus 9 and minus 16 from last two terms. So, n minus 9 this is equal to 0. Again n minus 9 will be common in these two terms. So, or n minus 9 into n minus 16 is equal to 0. And you know that the product of two factors is 0, then any one of these two may be 0 or both will be 0. So, if n minus 9 is equal to 0, we will get n is equal to 9 and if n minus 16 is equal to 0, we will get n is equal to 16. Now, we have to verify that whether values of n which are 9 and 16 both satisfy the condition or not. Okay. So, here after verification you will find that n is equal to 9 is feasible, but n is equal to 16 is not possible. So, finally, value of n will be 9, this will be the answer. So, how we can justify that value of n is equal to 16 is not possible? Because the largest angle, largest angle we can find out that is T n is suppose a plus n minus 1 into d, a is 120 degree and if you take n is equal to 16, then 16 minus 1 is 15 and d is 5. So, this is equal to 120 degree plus 75 degree, 195 degree, this is not feasible, not possible. Why? Because internal angle in any polygon cannot be more than 180 degree. So, n is equal to 16 is not justified, not acceptable. So, finally, n is equal to 9, number of sides is equal to 9, this is the answer. Okay. So, I hope you have understood this question. Now, in the next video, we will discuss about arithmetic means and we will do some problems uh, related to that topic arithmetic means. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you will remain in touch, you will remain watching these videos and you will enjoy mathematics learning. Wish you all the best.